Shocking news for Cowboys devotees. Greetings, passionate Cowboys fans. In this exclusive edition of your favorite news channel, we are delighted to present a scoop that has left the most fervent NFL enthusiasts astonished. In the hypothetical scenario where the Cowboys could craft a dream list for the 2024 free agency, meticulously based on available talent, team needs, and chemistry, the standout defensive tackle of the Kansas City Chiefs, Chris Jones, would undoubtedly top that list. Picture this, an unstoppable force on the field, in the prime of his 29 years, playing in a position the Cowboys aspire to reinforce, and with a championship track record, lifting three trophies with the Chiefs. Doesn't it sound like the perfect dream for the Cowboys? However, here comes the surprise. Despite being the object of desire for numerous teams, Jones has publicly declared during the Super Bowl parade in Kansas City that he plans to stay there to continue building his championship legacy. Kansas City, we'll be back here next year, exclaimed Jones enthusiastically. And for those wishing for me to leave, I ain't going nowhere, baby. I'll be here this year, next year, and the next. Three-time champions. However, what about the whispers circulating in the NFL hallways about the possibility of Jones considering a change of scenery? This is where the plot thickens. Jones's agent, Michael J. Katz, has added a touch of intrigue to the situation. After Jones's passionate speech at the parade, Katz jokingly suggested that what should really disappear is the bartender, implying that they might have prompted Jones to make comments that could affect future negotiations. Cut them off, bartenders, tweeted Katz, adding a humorous touch to the situation. Jones stands as a crucial piece in the Chiefs' quest for a three-peat, and the franchise has every reason to keep their outstanding team intact. So, Cowboys admirers, the possibility of snatching Chris Jones might be as tangible as a dream after the bartender clears the glasses. Steve Wilkes, the ace up the Cowboys' sleeve for defensive staff building? After filling the defensive coordinator vacancy with Mike Zimmer, the Dallas Cowboys seem to have their eyes on a surprising play, should they consider hiring Steve Wilkes, the now former defensive coordinator of the San Francisco 49ers, dubbed the scapegoat after the overtime loss to the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl 58? The news of Wilkes' sudden dismissal, announced by coach Kyle Shanahan after the Super Bowl, has raised questions about whether the Cowboys could capitalize on the experience of this proven defensive strategist. Although Zimmer has already been introduced as the new defensive coordinator, the possibility of adding Wilkes to their coaching staff remains intriguing. Despite praise for the defense led by Wilkes, which limited the explosive Chiefs' offense to only 19 points in the first four quarters of the game, Shanahan justified the decision as a poor adjustment. This abrupt change has left many wondering if Wilkes' departure from San Francisco had more to do with internal dynamics than the team's performance. Numbers support the effectiveness of the defense under Wilkes' guidance. The 49ers ranked fourth in defense in points allowed, conceding only 18.8 points per game. Additionally, they ranked fifth against the run and 14th in pass defense, according to yards allowed per game. So, was it really a matter of adjustment? Although Zimmer has already filled the void left by Dan Quinn as defensive coordinator, the Cowboys still have openings on their staff, especially with the departures of Joe Witt Jr., to Washington, and Aiden Durd, to Seattle. Wilkes' experience as the 49ers' defensive coordinator and his brief stint as the interim head coach for the Carolina Panthers two seasons ago could bring valuable perspective and leadership to the team. The potential addition of Wilkes would not only give the Cowboys another former head coach on their staff, but also provide direct insights into the 49ers' defensive success formula. This could be a crucial piece if Dallas aims to surpass their historic rival and claim the NFC champion's title in the upcoming season. The question lingers, is Wilkes destined to be the architect of the Cowboys' defensive revival? Only time will tell. What should have been a Wednesday of jubilation and celebration in Kansas City after the Super Bowl victory has turned into a somber and painful day following a tragic shooting during the victory parade. Patrick Mahomes, the charismatic quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs, shared his sense of devastation through Twitter, praying for Kansas City. 
Mahomes' heartfelt prayer offering has resonated on social media, highlighting the NFL star's deep concern for his community as everyone seeks answers amid the inexplicable. According to reports from Kansas City, the shooting left 10 people injured, with three in critical condition and one fatality. In the midst of the chaos, two suspects have been apprehended, but questions about the motives and circumstances still persist. This tragic incident overshadows the celebration of the Chiefs' historic triumph over the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 59. Minutes before the shooting began, Mahomes, the NFL sensation and Texas native, was on stage promising fans that the team would achieve an unprecedented milestone, the first ever Super Bowl III peak. However, at this moment, that proclamation of victory seems insignificant in the face of the magnitude of the tragedy. Instead of the expected joy, the community is grappling with sadness and shock. Mahomes, in addition to being a leader on the field, now becomes a beacon of hope and support amid the darkness. While Kansas City mourns and recovers, the future of the Super Bowl celebration hangs in suspense, replaced by grief and solidarity in a moment that will be forever remembered. There you have it, passionate Cowboys fans. Who would have imagined that the dream of seeing Chris Jones don the iconic star of the Cowboys could be closer than we thought? But wait, there are unexpected twists in this story. Jones's determination to stay in Kansas City has sparked an intriguing debate, with his agent making jokes on social media. Could the bartender be the true instigator of this plot? Furthermore, the construction of the Cowboys' defensive staff is far from ordinary. After the surprising dismissal of Steve Wilkes from the 49ers, could he be the ace up the sleeve that the Cowboys need for their defensive revival? Although Mike Zimmer has already joined as the defensive coordinator, the possibility of adding Wilkes adds an intriguing twist to the narrative. And finally, the euphoria of the Super Bowl in Kansas City abruptly faded with a tragic shooting during the victory parade. Shock has enveloped the community, leaving Patrick Mahomes and everyone searching for answers amid the darkness. As the city recovers, the celebration transforms into an act of solidarity in a moment that will be forever marked. We want to hear your thoughts on these shocking news. Do you think Chris Jones could change teams? Should the Cowboys bet on Steve Wilkes to strengthen their defensive staff? And, of course, send your thoughts and prayers to the Kansas City community in these challenging times. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Together, we will explore every twist and turn in these exciting stories. Until next time, loyal followers.